to face to face and today we're going to talk about women we're going to talk about strike we are with uh, Cynthia welcome to uh, to face to face thank you how are you doing I'm well well enough excited Good. for tomorrow yeah. yeah so talk to us about what's happening tomorrow so tomorrow is a big day um, the international feminist wave uh -huh. has called for another day of uh, strikes and okay. actions okay so there will be mass mobilizations around the globe. There will be general strikes okay. around the globe. Uh, here in the States, there will be a f uh, some rallies, okay. for example, in LA, in Portland, uh, in New York, here in Union Square. Um, and so I think it's going to be a great moment of uh, struggle, feminist so, struggle. So we're going to see today because we're going to broadcast this tomorrow. So it's going to be, no, it's fine, there's no <laughs> problem. So, <laughs> so. So we have to do it again. No, 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 we're not going to do it again. So when, uh, where in Europe is going to happen also in Belgium, France, what else? So in Europe uh, this year for the first time uh, also in Belgium and yeah. France uh -huh. uh, and Switzerland. In Italy? Uh, but in, it, yes, in Italy there is a mass uh, feminist movement, which is at the moment uh, the only social uh, opposition to the right wing government yeah. of uh, Northern League and Five Stars movement. Uh -huh. And of course, there will be the, stri the general strike in Spain. Last year, uh, five million people participated oh, wow. in the general strike called by the feminist movement and by some unions. Uh -huh. And uh, we expect this year to the strike to be even bigger. Uh, so this is a strike called by unions, but under the pressure of the feminist movement. So last year, five million women in Spain yes. striked. Yes, five million people, yeah. And in Italy? In Italy, uh, a, f a few hundred thousand, wow. uh, because in Italy last year uh, the, the strike was called by uh, radical leftist unions, okay. uh, which are a bit smaller. And then at the last minute, under the pressure of uh, rank and file mm -hmm. uh, unionists, uh, the, the education uh, union uh -huh. um, called the also for the strike. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it was oh, it big. Was great. Okay. And this year, uh, this, the general strike has been called by uh, a number of uh, unions okay. again, leftist unions, uh, and there is there are some calls circulating from rank and filers, um, basically trying to pressure the major uh, um, uh, union uh, uh, organizations uh -huh. uh, to endorse the strike tomorrow. But the, so we expect also in uh, uh, in Italy to have a big uh, day of struggle, and uh, probably transportation in uh, several cities is going to be. Chaos. Okay. <laughs> in Asia? Asia? Uh, in Asia, in so um, there are some uh, mobilizations, but uh, we have less con fewer con contacts connection, in, yeah, connections in Asia. The Latin America is actually yeah. the beating heart of this oh, moment. Okay. Um, so the, the idea of uh, calling for women's strikes mm -hmm. uh, was launched by the Polish feminist movement and by the Argentinian feminist movement. Oh, they right. started organizing the first uh, women's strikes already in 2016. Okay. Um, so uh, this year they called again for a strike that, is, that has been endorsed by two major unions. Okay. Um, and uh, um, we expect again uh, millions of people on the streets. In Argentina? Yes, in Argentina. In Buenos Aires and, uh, Buenos Aires and also other cities. Uh, they have organized, the movement has organized a, a series of uh, mass assemblies on the streets okay. to prepare for the movement. Uh, so it's going to be big. Yeah. And also Chile and Chile? Uh, Brazil. Uh -huh. um, and uh, Mexico. In Mexico, there will be demonstrations in more than 10 cities. Colombia, no? We have a lot of Colombians. Col <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard from Colombia. It's possible, but I don't know. Okay. But let's say that the big, the the, the, the biggest movement is in uh, Chile, Argentina, yeah. and uh, and Brazil at the moment. And Mexico, Mexico. Mexico is, is growing. It's growing. Yeah, it's growing. Okay. And here in uh, United States, Canada. Uh, here is not is not growing, unfortunately. No. Uh, we organized a women's strike uh, in 2017 okay. in solidarity with the international feminist movement. So yeah, how does this, how does this start? And because so, I, yeah. there's a lot of great people into the organization, so. Yes. So. <laughs> so it started in 2017 um, because, uh, so I came back from Italy and where I saw the movement and uh, I learned that uh, the feminist movement was uh, calling for an international women's strike on March 8th. Mm -hmm. So when I came back to the United States, then discussing with other activists and so on, we, we thought, okay, we should, at least in solidarity, we should really try to organize something similar here. 
and of course we are smaller, but uh, at the same time, the, you know, uh, a few weeks before, uh, the first women's march had happened, and this was oceanic. So we thought, okay, maybe there is uh, some <laughs> space <something>. <laughs> to <laughs> organize something. <laughs> so within three weeks, we organized this uh, first women's strike. Uh -huh. uh, and of course, it was much more modest than in other countries, but yes, it was uh, significant enough, and we managed to have uh, three school districts um, shut down oh, because great. teachers called sick. Yeah. <laughs> so this was a prefiguration of the uh, teacher strike wave. Mm -hmm. So um, then we organized uh, again last year uh, in various uh, cities, uh, and we are organizing also this year. Uh, this year we didn't really call just for a strike, we called for a day of uh, mobilization and strikes mm -hmm. because we didn't think there were really the conditions for uh, uh, strikes, mm -hmm. but there will be rallies uh, in, in a number of cities and uh, as assemblies, public events, and so on. No, the U.S. is always a little bit on their own schedule. It yeah. can synchronize with yeah. international. It's very yeah, no, this weird. Is, exactly. This is what I was uh, actually thinking about uh, <laughs> a few days ago. I was thinking, first of all, that here, uh, what I notice is that what happens elsewhere in terms of mobilization movements and so on okay. doesn't really <laughs> exist here in the sense that people either, either don't know or, or the, they, don't it, know. they don't care yeah. much in the mm -hmm. sense it's not, well, you know, in Europe I was used to, to pay a lot of attention in the I left know. to what was happening elsewhere in other countries and we would, would get ideas, we would get galvanized, inspired, to try to do similar things and so on. So here, it's it's a world apart in a yeah. sense. So it is a bit strange uh, in the sense that I do think there is a potential for a feminist movement in the States uh, because if we think about the size of the women's marches, the relevance of the Me Too movement, uh, also the mobilization against uh, Kavanaugh uh, this fall, yeah. I think there is the potential for, yeah. uh, for a feminist movement, but still I don't know why <laughs> it's not happening. No, but it was the same with Occupy, I remember with Andiniados, <laughs> mm -hmm. we did Occupy years later, and it yes. was very different. So it's not, it, it has its own it takes vibe. Its time. It, exactly, <laughs> it, takes, it takes some time, it's very different. At the same time, uh, some, something that is interesting that is happening here in the States is the teacher strike wave, uh, which is basically led and, uh, and, uh, no, it was, by it, women. It, it was unbelievable. It's, it's, it's yeah, mostly yeah. women workers, women teachers. So clearly there is something going on in terms of women um, you know, leading the way, <laughs> leading the way but of the struggle. leading the way for many years. I mean, yes. the, all the peace movement was organized by women. Yeah. All the community organizations are led by women. I mean, women Black are... Lives Matter. Exactly. Yeah. No, no, women are playing a big yeah. role in, in the U.S. But it's true, it's, it's uh, the teacher movement is really, yes. it's a strong, yeah. it's a strong, yeah. Yeah, no, and uh, again, this shows that there is a potential for a feminist movement because precisely women are really on, uh, at the forefront of the struggle everywhere. Yeah. Uh, so we need to find a way to to find the ways to make it start. But it's Hopefully much more active uh, yeah. anyway the, now than it was, ah, you yes. know, 10 years ago. 10 yes. years ago it was, it was... Now, when I arrived to the States, I thought it was a political desert yeah, and uh, I thought exactly. I need to get back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because the women marched, I mean, produced something, the Me Too movement, yeah. it's a very strong... I mean, it was a very, very strong uh, momentum. And then now maybe you have uh, nurses who's going to start to strike, yes. I think, in very few. Now, yeah. yeah. Uh, so things are happening. Um, so so what, what next? I mean, what, what, what is the, the objective or what, what mm -hmm. how the movie is uh, playing? OK, what next? This is actually the question, the key question within the movement internationally, okay. everybody, because this is the third internationally coordinated uh, day of mobilizations and strikes. Okay. And of course the movement cannot just uh, organize a demonstration after another. Like it needs to, like yeah. <laughs> and uh, so this is a question that the movement is discussing in several countries. And one of the ideas that is circulating is that of uh, starting organizing transnational meetings mm -hmm. of the feminist movement. Mm -hmm. Uh, we know, you know, the last uh, uh, meetings, international meetings of a, of a movement uh, were the social forum movement at, ah, the, yeah. at the beginning of the 2000s, yeah, yeah. and then we didn't have any anything else. Anything else. Yeah. So um, the, the idea could be that of trying to organize uh, not a, rep, uh, a repetition of the social forums, but, you know, transnational uh, meetings of the movement to uh, coordinate, to create uh, greater coordination, to share experiences, uh, 
practices uh, and discuss together how to move forward. Uh, because of, of course this is an ambitious movement. It's a movement that uh, is, uh, has local demands, national demands, um, but that also wants to challenge the whole system in its totality. So <laughs> The coordination is a challenge. I mean the movement mm -hmm. happened Yes. Without the coordination, because yeah. things are happening even Af I mean, we don't talk too much about Africa, but a lot of things happening in Africa. Yes. Now, how they are coordinating, what, what convergent, and, and how can we learn from each other? That's really the, the, the challenge. Exactly. It's very complicated. And I think, uh, but also from this viewpoint, I think the, the feminist movement is somehow reinventing internationalism, uh, international solidarity. Uh, Precisely because it is in a very spontaneous way yeah. from the very beginning yeah. really started uh, yeah. a communication among uh, movements from different countries mm -hmm. and exchange of you know ideas, slogans and so on. This from the very first moment, so already in the fall 2016. Uh, so I think uh, even in, from the viewpoint of uh, rebuilding internationalism and inter you know, a leftist internationalist uh, politics, I think the feminist movement is basically at the forefront once again. We have very few minutes left. You, anything you want to plug or to, to tell people they should know about? No, I think uh, people should uh, look up in the internet to see where the rallies are taking place in their city, mm -hmm. uh, participate in the march and so on, uh, stay tuned with the, with the movement. And also take into account that the uh, uh, particularity of this movement is the fact that uh, this is not liberal feminism. It is not uh, the feminism of breaking the glass ceiling, the glass ceiling or uh, you know, promoting individual uh, successful women. This is a, a class struggle feminism. Yeah. It's a feminism really that is speaking to the needs and demands and of uh, working women, uh, racialized women, uh, immigrant women and so on. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you yeah. so much Thank for coming. You. I appreciate it. Thanks. That was your, uh, your show face to face. And please keep watching your news on Presenza.com and uh, hope to see you very soon. Thank you.